let's talk about the area that that um, we often think of when we talk about uh, this our whole idea of digital marketing. That's social networking. There's not um, there's really probably not much I can say here that you don't already know, other than potentially how businesses might be taking advantage of or using social networks. Social network is this interconnection, Facebook, um, some people still use MySpace, Instagram, that sort of thing. Um, but it's a place where people can meet and generally it's an affiliation network. Uh, that is a network where people know each other and connect because they want to connect with each other. Um, a business one that some of you may have heard of, but others perhaps not, is called LinkedIn, where people um, who want business connections, uh, business contacts, jobs, whatever, uh, go and create a profile. It's a good thing to do, particularly when you're out uh, looking for work on LinkedIn. But it's people that know each other, and so you have this, this additional feature within this community of people that have generally trusting relationships uh, for purchase for um, for sharing their purchase decisions they have influence on one another there's an influence network within any social media environment so that if you can create a sense in the network that something is positive it's likely that people that are connected in that net, in that network are more likely that they will follow through with a similar purchase um, through this social network, you can build relationship with customers that extend beyond others. You can provide product information that other people in the, organ, in, the, in the network can comment upon and learn what people need. You can contact large new target markets, those various elements of it. Um, in there, in these social networks, people generate marketing data themselves. There's a tendency for consumers to publish reviews, to make comments, to share features and functions, to share different uh, media that they like, usually because it's humorous or it's meaningful in some way. So that's that's using what might be called word of mouth, but it's word of mouth from a in a virtual or digital sense, where I like something and so I push, I propagate it through my network. And other people are more likely to read it if they know me because they trust the message from me. I'm not biased. I know that I actually like it. So they trust ourselves more than if somebody is just pushing out something and claiming they're great. There aren't very many commercials that say, well, we're second best, right? Everybody says they're best. But if me or somebody in your social network that you know says this is a really good thing, you're more likely to buy that and to, you know, to buy into that message and therefore potentially buy the product. These social networks are extending around the world. None of this is surprising. But even adults spend, the estimate here is one out of every five hours online, which is a, a tremendous amount of time. And there are also a recent study that I've seen. Um, Facebook is still number one among all age groups, including young younger people, which sometimes we say, well, if your parents are on it, younger people don't get on Facebook anymore, but they do. And the main competitor and the ones that get off are Instagram, which is also really part of the Facebook family. Um, but increasingly, these social networks have marketers in there watching what's going on and finding out the kind of discussions that are happening so that products can be placed and positioned and that the messages can be framed for a particular affinity group and you can uh, you can see that or you can observe that um, going on there was a um, another study that i've seen recently where they asked uh, young people how much time they spend online and and one there was a 94 percent said they spent at least an hour online and something like 23 percent said they're online continuously so it's amazing how much um, from a marketing perspective how much opportunity you have to connect with people if you could find them through the digital networks so let's talk about 